What's going on everyone, Aegis B here, and today I have the 2021 MacBook Pro, the 14 inch version in the studio in space gray. Let's go ahead and do an unboxing. I had a really long day just to get my hands on this, but I'm very excited. Today in studio, we have the M1 Pro MacBook Pro. A big name to say, but yeah, this is the packaging that it comes with. Pretty standard for what you can expect for Apple with the picture of the MacBook. Let's go ahead and look at the side. It just says MacBook Pro as we're used to. And here is the back. So as you can see, the version that I have, 16 gig memory, 14 inch MacBook Pro with a 512 uh, gigabyte solid state drive. On the MacBook, Apple did use plastic this year for this one, but they did not use plastic for a lot of their uh, tech this year. So there's a pull tab at the side. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap, take this off. And there you go, here is the packaging of the Mac. Now I'm just going to go ahead and remove the cover so you could see the MacBook, so let's go. And here it is, you can see that it has this paper wrap on it, so I'm gonna go ahead, lift it up. Uh, first impression, right off the bat, it feels heavier, but more slate and like uh, cubic and angular than the MacBook Air that I'm used to and the MacBook Air that I'm coming from. It is kinda heavy right off the bat, I think it's about four pounds. We do have some heft to it. Okay, so I'm gonna take off the paper right now. Wow, so <laughs> as you can see, I got the space gray version. It actually looks really good. I did play with one in the store a bit uh, yesterday, uh, but I'm pretty impressed with the way it looks so far. It's very thick and you could tell that this was an expensive piece of tech. So as standard, you got the design by Apple in California here and inside we're gonna expect some manuals as per usual. And of course the sticker. So Apple is giving black stickers this year with the new MacBook Pro, which is also on their more premium computers like the Mac Pro. Uh, so cool, black stickers. I'm not gonna use them, uh, but yeah, they come with pretty much almost all of their tech devices. Also in the box, you have the MagSafe charger here. And I'll take that off. So it's the standard MagSafe charger that we know from Apple and it does have the ability to put in the extension cord here if you have an older one, but it does not come with it, so you might have to buy that separately. But it also charges via USB-C, so you can swap out the USB-C or you can use the MagSafe charger. So it does come with a MagSafe charger. Let's go ahead and unwrap this. It's a braided cable that we're gonna get from Apple this time. I really like it. I've been highly critical of Apple's cables in the past. Uh, so as you can see, one end is USB-C right here, and the other end would be that MagSafe port that they're bringing back to be able to charge. Now you can charge the MacBook either by using USB-C or MagSafe, however you choose. I'm probably gonna go with MagSafe just so I can have that extra port because this thing has some ports and I'm very excited about that. Uh, this is a six feet long braided cable so you can use it while at your desk and just have some extra space so it's not too short. That's pretty much it for what comes in the box. Let's look at the body of the MacBook Pro. Okay, so like I mentioned, this is a thick boy. Uh, let's look at the ports that it comes with. So it has the MagSafe charger over here. Uh, we also get two USB-C ports and an aux coming on the left side. And if you go over to the right side, we have the HDMI cable. We also have another USB-C port and an SD card slot reader. This is basically one of the reasons why I bought this, these two ports over here. Uh, these are super important to my productivity and my workflow, so yeah. And yeah, at the bottom here, you're gonna see that it says MacBook Pro, and then also you're going to see that it has these rubber stops here so you can keep it on a desk and it's not gonna wobble or damage the casing or anything like that. It is kind of fingerprinty. I just touched it while I took it out of the box. You can kind of see some fingerprints here. So I'm gonna open it up. And you hear that chime, which classic Apple. So let's go ahead and remove this film here.
And here you go. Here is the keyboard of the new Mac Pro. We're gonna get that hello sign, which looks super good. Right off the bat, the display looks really, really good. I'm actually like, honestly, the display looks good. Uh, you can see the notch over here, uh, uh, but overall, this display looks really good. I'm gonna be doing the testing and looking at it in the full review, but I'm so impressed so far. So it's looking pretty good. The keyboard also feels really good. Can't complain. It's kind of similar to the one that was on the last MacBook Pro, but as you can see, no touch bar here, which is a win for me. I don't like touch bars. So that is pretty much what you get in the 14 inch MacBook Pro for 2021. Looking really good. I'm gonna be doing a full review coming up soon. So make sure that you drop your questions in the comments below. I'm gonna make sure to answer them all in my upcoming videos. Make sure to subscribe if you found the video useful. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.